All right, let's begin. To come into child's pose, you're going to find a kneeling position on your mat. You can bring your knees together. You can also put some space between them. Try to keep your big toes from overlapping. Sit back on your heels, lift your hands up overhead, take a big breath in. Exhale, folding forward, stretch your hands out in front of you. Push your hips back to your heels and relax your forehead down towards the ground. Relax through your arms. Let your elbows come down to the mat. You can also bring your arms back, wrapped back towards your feet, if that feels good. Close your eyes and start to listen for your breath. Begin to lengthen and deepen each breath, stretching the breath out, not in a forced way, just gently lengthening each inhale, each exhale. Find the yoga breath, the ujjayi breath. And strip the throat just a little bit so that your breath sounds like the ocean inside of your head. Sometimes this breath is also called the Darth Vader breath. Feel your back rising and falling as you breathe in and out. Feel your rib cage expanding out to the sides and then coming back in on your exhale. Notice the texture, the temperature of your breath. the sound of your breath fill your mind completely, bringing you fully present into your body, here, now, in this moment. Push away all other thoughts, let go of anything that happened earlier today. Don't worry about any plans for later. Just be inside of your body. Start to do a body scan. We're going to start from the tips of our fingers. You don't have to change anything here. We're just checking in to see how our bodies are doing right now. Work your awareness through your hands into your wrists and elbows, all the way up your arms to your shoulders. Check in as you go for any sore spots, anything that feels off today. Move into the back of the neck. Notice how your jaw feels. And then start to go down your spine. Move through the hips, into the legs, knees, ankles, and toes. As you go through, just make a mental note of anything that's not quite right today, so that you can adjust your sequence as needed to honor where your body is in this moment. Remember that every day is different. And in each pose, you're going to find your edge. And that's the point where you don't want to go past. Remember that that edge also is going to feel different each day in every single pose. So just listen to your body and let it tell you where to stop and where you can go. Remember that you can always take a break during the flow. And you're also welcome to modify any pose in a way that's right for you. 
Take a few more deep, full breaths here. Just being inside of your body. If your hands are wrapped back towards your feet, bring them back out in front of you. If your knees are together, open them just a tiny little bit. And then start to crawl your fingertips all the way over to the right. Hips can lean a bit to the left here. If you like, you can rest on your left cheek. Maybe you feel a stretch on the left side of your body, your armpit, the arm. And now curl your hands all the way over to the left. Chest still stays really low. Hips can lean a bit to the right. Maybe you want to rest on your right cheek here. Feel that stretch along the left side of your body. Pull your hands back to center and come into puppy pose. Fingertips go forward, lift the hips up. Chin or chest reaches down towards the mat. You can bring your hips right above your knees or just behind. On your next breath in, bring your hands back, lifting up your chest, making your way to hands and knees, tabletop. And then just so that your wrists come right below your shoulders, knees come right below the hips. Move through cat-cow, always going with the breath. Now as you breathe in, drop your belly down, roll your shoulders back, gaze comes up or forward. Exhale, rounding up through the spine, push your back up towards the ceiling, relax your head and neck down, and bring the gaze through the knees. Keep moving just like that. Let your breath dictate your speed. Try to stretch out each motion to match the breath. Come back to a neutral spine on the breath in. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up. Come into downward facing dog. Heels are reaching towards the ground in downward facing dog, but they don't need to touch. Just push the heels down in that direction, feeling a nice stretch on the back of the legs. Notice what your shoulders are doing here. You want to always keep the shoulders down the back, moving towards the hips out of the ears. 
I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So the incorrect position. If you pull your shoulders up into your ears, it looks like that. And then sliding them down the back. It looks like that. You can pedal out your legs, bend one knee, then the other. Getting the blood flowing through the legs and the hips. Fingers should be open nice and wide, pushing down through the pads at the ends of each of your fingers on the curve at the bottom of the palm. Take a deep breath in, come all the way up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, sending your heels over to the right. Hips can lean a bit to the right. Feeling a stretch here on the left side of the body. Come back up to tippy toes, big breath in. Exhale, dropping the heels down towards the left, feeling that stretch on the right side of the body. Inhale, coming up to center, tippy toes. As you breathe out, push your heels down towards the mat. Feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Lift your right leg high, take a big breath in. Exhale, stopping the foot through between the hands. Drop the left knee down to the mat. And rise up to low lunge on an inhale. You're always welcome to find your balance with your hands on your knees. And then bring the hands up, turn the pinkies and keep the shoulders moving down the back. And release your fingers, pointers up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, gentle back bend, nice and slow. It's a balanced challenge. Come back up on a breath in. Exhale, release your hands down, framing the front foot. Tuck your left toes under, left knee pops up. Bring all weight to your left hand. Inhale, lifting your right arm high. If you're feeling wobbly here, you can drop that left knee back down to the mat. Try to bring your arms perpendicular to the floor. If it's okay on your neck, the gaze can come up towards the upper hand. Take one more big breath in here. Exhale, release, drop your right hand back down to the ground. Look forward, take a deep breath in. On your breath out, step your left foot up to your right. Forward fold at the front of the mat. Half lift, breathing in, bring your torso parallel to the ground. Fold forward on your exhale, relaxing the upper body down. Inhale, rising up to standing, bend your knees, roll your spine, letting your arms dangle down until your head comes up, then lift the hands up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Side stretch, inhale, hands high. Release your fingers, pointers up, exhale, stretching down to the right. Back up to center as you breathe in. And to the left as you breathe out. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale, standing back bend. Really gentle with the neck, even cactus arms. You bring the hands down to the back pockets. Come straight back up on a breath in. Exhale, diving forward, hinging from the hips, keeping the spine really long as you go down. Half lift on your breath in, bring your hands to shins or float them over the ground. Exhale, double dip, turn around, up, plant your hands, hop or step back to your high plank, upper push up. You can keep your knees up or drop them down to the mat, down on a breath and back up to breathe in. Exhale, lowering down again, up, top your cobra on your inhale. If your legs are all the way on the ground, keep your elbows bent. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Left side, left heel comes high, deep breath in. Stepping the foot through between the hands as you breathe out, drop the right knee down to the mat and rise up on an inhale to low lunge. 
Interlace your fingers, pointers up, take a big breath in. Exhale, gentle back bend, push the hips forward, go really slowly here. Come straight back up, breathing in. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Tuck your right toes under, right knee pops up, bring all the way to your right hand. Inhale, lifting your left arm high. Open arm twist toward the side. Try to bring your arms perpendicular to the floor. And you can bring the gaze up towards the upper hand. One more big breath in here. Exhale, release, drop your left hand back down to the mat. Look forward, take a deep breath in. On your breath out, step your right foot up to your left, forward fold. Half lift, breathing in, pull the shoulders down the back, opening up the chest. Forward fold as you breathe out. Rising up to standing on the breath in, bend your knees, stack the vertebrae one at a time, nice and slow, arms float up last. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. And side stretch again, this time to the left first. Inhale, hands high. Interlace your fingers, pointers up. Exhale, stretching down to the left. Back up to center, breathing in. And to the right as you breathe out. Inhale to center. Standing back bend on your exhale. Come back up straight on a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips. Take your whole breath to get down there. Half lift as you breathe in. Double dip, chaturanga, breathing out. Plant your hands, hop or step back to your high plank. Exhale, lowering down halfway, elbows tucked in, back up on a breath in. And down again as you breathe out. Don't go pull your elbows up, dagger cobra, pulling the chest through the shoulders. Big breath in here. Exhale, roll over the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. One last sun salutation, straight up and down, no side stretch this time. Just go with your breath. <clears throat> Bend your knees, look forward to your hands, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hop a step right between the hands, forward fold. Half lift to breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale all the way to standing nice and slow, taking your time. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Straight back down this time. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, diving forward, keeping the spine really long. Half lift to breathe in. Double dip, chaturanga, breathing out. However you like it, knees up or down. Uh, Dogger cobra coming under the tops of the feet. Big breath in here. Exhale, roll over your toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Lift your right heel high, take a deep breath in. Step the foot through between the hands as you breathe up. Then rise up on an inhale, making your way to warrior one. That foot comes down at about a 45 degree angle. Front knee has a nice deep bend in it. Front toes are pointing straight towards the short end of the mat. And that front knee is directly over the ankle. Bring the left hip forward, making sure to keep that back pinky toe edge fully glued down to the mat. Once you've got your hips set, lift your hands up, turn the pinkies and keep the shoulders moving down the back. And release your fingers, pointers up, take a big breath in. Exhale, really gentle back bend, gentle with the neck here. Come straight back up, breathing in. 
Exhale, open out to warrior two. Send your arms straight out in either direction. Pivot the back foot down, bringing your feet perpendicular to each other. Front heel can intersect the back heel or the back arch. Front knee is still right over that ankle. Sometimes in the warrior poses, the front knee starts to lean forward towards the big toe side of the foot. Just push it back in line with that ankle. Peek back on the back hand. Sometimes the back hand likes to droop down when you're not looking at it. And then bring your gaze right over your front middle finger. Five yoga jumping jacks with the breath. Inhale, knee straight, arms up. Exhale, slowly sinking back down to warrior two. Four more, just going with your breath at your own pace. Try to stretch out your breath. Three. Lengthen each motion. Take the whole breath to complete each motion. Two. And last one. Drop your hands down to your hips, straighten out your front knee, and turn the right toes toward the long edge of the mat. Coming into press three, don't wide legged forward bend. Line up the pinky toe edges of your feet so that they're parallel. Pull your elbows towards each other behind your back. Puff up the chest, take a big breath in here. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, keeping the spine really long as you go down. Once you find your edge, relax your head and neck. Release your hands down to the ground. You can adjust your feet as needed. My feet always want to go a little bit wider when I get my hands down to the mat. Then start to crawl your hands forward. Let your head and neck just dangle down towards the ground. Check out the shoulders. You want to pull the shoulder blades down the back towards the hips, out of the ears. Stretching through the back and the arms and the legs. Try to keep your hips in line with the feet here. Legs are perpendicular to the floor. Now walk your hands through your feet. Fingertips pointing in the opposite direction. See how far out behind you. You can curl those fingers. Feel the stretch on the back of the legs intensifying. The farther you get your hands out behind you. Remember, it doesn't matter what it looks like. The only thing that matters is how you feel inside. Listen to your body. Find your own edge. Walk your hands back to center. Weight comes to both of your hands right underneath your face. To bend your knees and pull your heels in towards each other. Inhale, rising up to starfish. Exhale, opening out to warrior two. Take one more big breath in here. As you breathe out, cartwheel the hands down, framing the front foot. Right heel goes high on a breath in. Double dip chaturanga, breathing out. You can keep your foot up or drop it down. You can drop the knees down to the mat. Uh, dog your cobra coming onto the tops of the feet. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Left side, left heel comes high, deep breath in. Exhale, step the foot through between the hands. And rise up to warrior one on the inhale. Back foot comes down at about a 45 degree angle. Front knee is right over the ankle. Pull the right hip forward, making sure the right pinky toe edge is still glued down to the mat. Once you've got your hips set, lift your hands up overhead. Turn the pinkies in to keep the shoulders moving down the back. Interlace your fingers, fingers out, take a deep breath in. Exhale into your gentle back bend. Just going really slow here, it's a balance challenge. Come straight back up to breathe in. Exhale, opening out, warrior two, pivot your back foot around. 
widen your stance a little bit, peek down at your feet. Front heel should be intersecting the back heel or the back arch. Feet are perpendicular, front toes pointing towards the short end of the mat, back toes pointing towards the long end of the mat. And check on the hands, making sure that back hand is nice and high. And bring the gaze over the front middle finger. Five yoga jumping jacks here. Again, just going at your own pace with your breath. Inhale, knees straight, arms up overhead. Exhale, slowly sinking back down to warrior two. Four more. Find your own rhythm. We all march to the beat of our own drum. Just go with your breath. Three. Two. And last one. Cross the reno one more time, wide legged forward bend, hands come to the hips, straighten out the front knee, turn the left toes toward the long edge of the mat. Line up your feet with your pinky toe edges parallel. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, sweeping the hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers, push down to puff up the chest. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Keeping all that length in the spine going down. Once you find your edge, relax your head and neck and peel the arms off the back. Push up through the hands to feel your shoulder blades sliding down your back towards your hips, out of your ears. One more breath in here. Exhale, release your hands. Let your hands slide down your legs. Come to stop wherever it's comfortable. If you can reach all the way down to your feet, you can tuck your fingers underneath the pinky toe edges of the feet. Maybe you can even bend your elbows out to the sides to bring the chest even closer into the legs. Release your hands. Bring both hands right underneath your face. The weight comes to your hands to bend your knees and pull your heels in towards each other. Inhale, rising up to starfish. Exhale, opening out to warrior two. Take another deep breath in here. On your breath out, cartwheel the hands down to frame the front foot. Left heel goes up high, breathing in. Double dip chaturanga, however you like it. Up dog or cobra on your inhale. And downward facing dog as you exhale. Let's take a little rest here. Drop your knees down to the mat. Make your way to child's pose. If child's pose is not comfortable for you, you can always rest in a seat or on your back. Relax your forehead down towards the ground. Hands can stretch out in front of you or wrap back towards the feet. Check on your big toes, trying to keep them from overlapping. Close your eyes. Find your way back to a strong, deep breath. If your hands are wrapped back towards your feet, bring them back out in front of you. On an inhale, lift up your chest, coming to hands and knees to the top. And bring your knees together to touch. Send your left foot straight out behind you like you're stamping it into a wall. If that's enough, you can see right there. 
Or if you want more, you can stretch your left hand out. Stretching those fingers straight out in front of you. Take a big breath in, stretching really long. Exhale, release, hand and knee back down to the mat. Switching sides, inhale, lifting your left foot high, push through the heel like you're stamping that foot into a wall behind you. That's enough, just stay right there. If you want more, lift your right arm up as well, stretching the fingers straight out. Take a deep breath in, stretching really long. And exhale, release, back down to the mat. Keep going like that with your breath. Inhale, lifting the right leg and the left arm. Exhale, setting it back down on the mat. Switching sides, inhale, left leg and right arm. Exhale, back down to the mat. And try for three more on each side. Just go with your breath. Two. And last one. Make your way back to your hands and knees, tabletop. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, coming into downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your hands, take a deep breath in. Exhale, hop your step between the hands, forward fold. Half lift as you breathe in. Forward fold, breathing out. Inhale all the way to standing, bend your knees, roll your spine one vertebrae at a time, arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Let's do some balancing poses here. Let's start with tree pose. We're going to move straight from tree pose into a modified hand to foot pose. I'm going to mirror you, so I'll be doing the opposite side. If you're feeling wobbly today, you can always Find a piece of furniture or a wall to float your hand on. Bring all weight to your left foot. Right knee is pointing straight out to the side. Keep the toes on the ground, set the sole of the foot on the ankle. Raise it up so your heel comes right in that little curve right underneath the knee. Or come all the way up above the knee on the thigh. Find your leg balance to start. You can stay here with your hands at your hips or bring your hands to heart center. Or you can include the arms. Inhale, lifting your hands up overhead. Take one more breath in here. As you breathe out, release just your arms. Bring your right knee out in front of you. Interlace your fingers outside of the knee. If this is enough, you're already feeling a challenge, just stay right here. If you want a bit more of a challenge, you can release your left hand. Bring your hand to your hip and start to open out your right knee towards the side. If you're feeling super flexible today, maybe you can extend that whole leg. You can grab the pinky toe edge of the right foot and open out the leg. If you do that, you're probably going to want to bring your left arm up as well to help with the counterbalance. One more deep breath in here. And release as you breathe out. Shake it off. Let's try the other side. All the way comes to the right foot. Same options here. Left knee is pointing straight out to the side. Keep the toes on the ground, set the sole of the foot on the ankle. Raise it up, bring your heel right under your knee. Or come all the way up above the knee, on the thigh. Don't worry if this side feels really different. Our bodies look symmetrical, but they are not. So this side might want a completely different foot placement than the other side. Keep your hands at your hips. Bring your hands to heart center. Or 
inhale, lifting your hands up overhead. One more breath in here. Exhale, release just your hands. Bring your left knee out in front of you. Interlace your fingers outside of the knee. If you're already feeling wobbly, you already got a challenge, just stay right here. Feel your foot rocking back and forth, side to side, on those four corners of the arch. If you want a little bit more, bring your right hand to your hip and start to open up the left knee towards the side. You can also bring that right hand up as well to help with counterbalance here. And if you want to stretch that leg all the way out, grab the pinky toe edge of the foot. Open out your leg all the way. Definitely want to bring that right arm up as well. One more breath in. And release as you breathe out. Give it a wiggle. Hand to foot pose. Bring your feet about hip width distance apart on the mat. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, diving forward. Nice long spine as you go down. Once you find your edge, relax your head and neck. And then lift up your toes one at a time and slide your hand underneath your foot so that the palm of the hand is facing the sole of the foot. With your toes resting right in the crease of the wrist, you can bend your knees as much as you need to to get here. Once you have both hands underneath the feet, relax your head and neck down completely. You can bend one knee and then the other. Feel a nice stretch on the back of the leg as you push the knee back towards straight. You can wiggle your toes, maybe give your wrist a little massage. If your balance is pretty good here, you can also rock back and forth a little bit on your hands. Nod your head, yes. Take a deep breath in. And shake your head, no. Breathe it out. One more time, nod your head, yes, deep inhale. Shake your head, no, exhale. Release your hands out from under your feet one at a time. Weight comes to the fingertips to heel to the feet back together again. Bend your knees, rising up to standing on a breath in nice and slow. Take your time, lift your hands up overhead. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. And chair pose. Today we're just going to hold our chair pose. We'll try to hold it for five breaths. If you feel like coming out sooner, that's okay. Sometimes chair pose can really make your legs sting and burn. You can have your big toes touching with some space between the heels. You can also bring your feet kind of on two different train tracks right underneath the hips. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, sitting back into the chair, push your hips down and back, pull the shoulder blades down the back, feel the crown of the head stretching up towards the sky, wiggle your toes, make sure most of the weight's in the heels. Take one more big breath in here. Exhale, folding forward. Relax your upper body down. Half lift to breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Release your fingertips down to the mat. Heels pull your feet out wide again. Coming into big toe pose. One at a time, lift up your big toe. Slide your middle finger and index finger in between the big toe and the second toe and lock it in place with that thumb. Wrapping those fingers around the toe. Once you've got both toes, relax your head and neck down. Bend your knees again as much as you need to. You can also open out your elbows straight out to the sides to bring your chest closer into the legs, deepening the stretch.
Release your toes. Bring weight to the fingertips at the front of the mat to heel. Tie your feet back together again. Take a half lift, breathing in. Exhale, plant your hands on the mat. Hop your step back to high plank upper push up. Double dip, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra to breathe in. And downward facing dog as you breathe out. Open up your feet, bringing your pinky toes to touch the outside edges of the mat. I'm coming into a down dog twist here. If you like, you can walk your hands. One hand right closer to the feet. Reach your right hand out and grab onto your left leg anywhere that feels good. Ankle, calf, or thigh is fine. Bring your gaze underneath your left arm and then check in with your hips. Sometimes the hips want to lean over to the left here. Send them back to center, right between the feet. Release, look forward to set your right hand back down in that spot on the mat and switch sides. Left hand reaches out, grabs onto the right leg anywhere that feels good, ankle, calf, or thigh. Bring the gaze underneath the right arm and then check in with the hips, making sure your hips are still centered right between the feet. Release your left hand, look forward to set it back down in its spot on the mat, and then make your way back to your normal downward facing dog. You can come into your high plank of a push up, we're coming into a side plank here. Drop the right knee down to the mat and kick the right foot off the side of the mat at a 90 degree angle, rolling onto the big toe side of the left foot. Open up your left arm, stretching the fingers straight up to the sky. If this is enough, you can stay right here. If you want more, try to lift that left leg up. You can just keep it elevated, or you can kind of do some pulses with the breath, inhaling to lift. And as you breathe out, lowering it back down to the mat. Maybe try for four more. Inhale up. Exhale back down. Three. Two. And last one. Release and switch sides. Plant your left hand on the mat, drop the left knee down to the mat and kick the left foot off the side of the mat. At a 90 degree angle, rolling onto the big toe side of the right foot. Lift your right arm up, stretching the fingers straight up to the sky. You can stay right here, or you can lift your right leg up as well. And again, we're just gonna go with the breath, inhaling to lift. Exhale, lowering it back down again. Four more times with the breath, inhale up. Exhale to lower. Just go at your own pace, three. I'm just counting so you know where I am. Two. And last one. Release. Come back to your hands and knees tabletop and then come all the way down onto your belly. You can stack your hands and rest your forehead on your stacked hands. Or you can rest on a cheek. Then wrap your hands back behind towards your hips, palms facing up. Close your eyes here. Focusing on the breath. Coming back to a nice, strong, deep breath. Moving your chin back to the mat, hands come right underneath the shoulders. Inhale to lift your chest and then slide your hands forward, dropping the elbows down, coming into Sphinx Pose. Elbows are right below the shoulders, pulling the chest through the shoulders. 
But this is enough. If you already feel a nice back bend, you can stay right here. If you want a little bit more, you can straighten out your elbows. Just be really conscious of what's going on in the lower back here. You don't want to stress your back out too much. One more breath in here. And exhale, drop your elbows back down to the mat. Bring your left arm out at an angle in front of you. Kick your right foot up and then reach back with your right foot. Pull the right foot in towards the hips. Release and switch sides to right. Arm comes out at an angle in front of you. Kick the left foot up. Reach your left hand back. Pull that left foot in. Release, we're gonna come into bow pose. Lower down your chest, kicking up both feet. Reach back with both of your hands. Wrap your hands around the outside of the ankles. On a breath in, lift your feet up off the mat to peel up the chest. Keep your gaze really low on the ground in front of you to protect your neck. One more deep breath in, lifting even higher. And exhale, release. You can stack your hands again and rest the forehead on the stacked hand. Or if your head was turned to one side, turn it to the other side, resting on the opposite cheek and wrap your hands back towards your hips. Bring your chin back to the mat. Hands come right underneath the shoulders. Inhale, peeling the chest up off the mat. Make your way to a seat. Starting with Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees open out wide to the sides. Interlace your fingers. You can either tuck them underneath your toes or around the fronts of the toes. Push down on the knees, lifting up on the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding forward, hinging from the hips. You can open out your arms and push your knees down with your elbows. Find your edge and then round out through the back, relaxing your head and neck down towards the floor. You can keep your hands on your feet here, or if you like, you can release your hands and start to walk your fingertips out in front of you. On your next breath in, lift your chest up. Bring your knees together. Hands come behind you. Fingers pointing towards the hips. And gently windshield wiper your knees side to side to release your hips. Send your legs out long in front of you. Plant your hands on either side of your hips and then rock side to side, tucking your thumbs underneath you just a little bit. Lift up on your spine, lengthening the spine and reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. Flex your toes, pulling the toes towards your face. Push your knees down towards the mat, but make sure that your heels are still touching the ground. If you push them down too much, you'll notice that your heels start to lift up off the mat. You're going to keep those heels on the ground. Everything is really active here. Keeping everything else exactly where it is, release your hands, lift your hands up overhead, take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding forward, reaching for the feet. 
And if you can't reach your feet, that's okay. You can rest your hands on your, the sides of your legs or, or just on your legs. And then relax your forehead down towards your knees. On your next breath in, walk your hands back, lifting up your chest, and then make your way all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lifting your forehead up to your knees, curling into a tight little ball, squeezing everything together. Release your head back down to the mat, Drop your feet down to the mat. I'm going to do three bridge poses here with the breath. Plant your hands flat on the mat so that your middle fingers are just touching the backs of the heels. As you breathe in, rooting down through the feet, lift the hips up, pushing the hips up towards the sky. Exhale, lowering back down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time. Two more, just going with your breath. Inhaling to lift your hips up. Exhale, gently releasing back down to the mat. Last time, inhale to lift. Exhale, lowering down, nice and slow. Float your legs in an imaginary tabletop, 90 degrees in the knees and hips. Open out your arms wide in a T. Take a deep breath in here. On your exhale, gently drop your legs down together towards the right, trying to keep that 90 degree angle in the knees and hips. Right fingertips can tuck inside the crease, the left knee to help your legs stay down to the ground if they're popping up. And then bring your gaze over to your left hand to complete your twist. Release your right hand back out to the side. Lift your knees up to center, breathing in. Exhale, dropping them down together towards the left, trying to keep that 90 degree angle in the knee and the hip. Left fingers can tuck inside the crease of the right hand to help the legs stay down. We'll bring the right gaze over to the right hand. Release your left hand back out to the side. Lift your knees up to center, breathing in. Happy baby pose. And you can keep your knees bent and hold outside the knees or open up your feet and reach for the pinky toe edges of the feet. Push your tailbone back down flat on the mat. Gently rock side to side. You can also straighten out one leg and bend the other knee. Straight back and forth like that a couple times. And release. If there's any last pose you'd like to do that we didn't get to in class today, maybe a shoulder stand or cloud pose, you can take that now. Otherwise, just make your way into Shavasana. Shavasana can be flat on your back, legs and arms straight up. You can also bring your legs into the easy pose position or bring the soles of the feet together and let your knees open out to the side. Hands can be by your sides, palms facing up or down. Or you can bring your hands to your heart and your belly. Bring your chin into your chest and rock your head side to side, just letting your head fall back to its natural center point. Close your eyes. 
Release your body. Check for any tension. And if you find it, just imagine it melting away into the ground. Release your breath. Coming back to natural breathing. And release your mind. Just watching your thoughts come and go like the ocean waves. Find a few moments of stillness to complete your practice today. Blink your eyes open, start to make your way back up to a seat. Good. 
Thank you all so much for joining me for yoga today. Hope to see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Namaste. Have a lovely day.